Hi everybody! I hope you're all doing awesome today. I've got a mini session that I'm doing for a client here. So I'm going to read the goals for the session and then I'm going to be getting tuned in, okay? Alright, so my father is Lonnie. My mother is Suzanne. I am Pam. Are there any messages from my deceased parents? Okay. Well, I definitely feel like uh, relaxing immediately. I haven't even I haven't even gotten started yet. I almost feel like I've been gifted with extra breath or something. Okay, let me get tuned in here. I mean, already just uh, absorbing in your goals, I'm already feeling just like a burden lifted off my shoulders and very relaxed. <sighs> Lonnie and Suzanne. What messages would you like to share with Pam today? Okay, this is interesting. I'm being shown a wall and it's uh, two different colors. One's kind of a white and the other's kind of a gray, all right? So they're very close, but they're different. And in between these two, there is this lock, okay? And you have to turn it this way and then that way and then this way and then you unlock it like a high school locker. This is more complicated because the message is what, what you see and what seems to be obvious in your world. That's kind of gray, that's kind of white. They're definitely two different colors here. There's a, a like a padlock type thing. It reminds me of my high school locker. I need to know the combination in order to open this up. And they're saying that what you see, what you think is right in front of you, the obvious, there's a twist to it. This is an important message for you, Pam. It's almost like taking in the obvious but not realizing that there's something beyond the obvious that you couldn't even fathom was actually there. So we could stand here all day or we can venture. So something about a problem here that might be difficult to solve or you don't know the combination in order to open this new doorway. Um, a very odd doorway made up of two different colored walls with a weird padlock, giant padlock in the center of a wall. Very strange. So what is, like how do we resolve this issue, right? If I don't know the combination, I'm kind of stuck, <laughs> not really sure what to do. So we could stay looking at this problem and evaluating it um, but they're saying that sometimes uh, walking away from a problem then will bring in new awareness, okay? So let's just follow, follow their lead here. So we're actually going to start flying up above this wall in this padlock. I really like uh, your parents because they, they work in a team. They work side by side. It's like uh, two Lego pieces that just connected. And then they're literally like a Tweedledee and Tweedledum kind of thing. Um, so they're kind of like attached. <laughs> and so they're kind of um, moving through and speaking together. It's really beautiful. It's really sweet. Okay. There's a pathway that appears in the sky. And it's leading me upward above all of this, all of these problems, these unsolvable problems, these obvious things that uh, there's something beyond the obvious that I'm not seeing yet. Oh. As we take the pathway, everything gets softer lighter. Again, it's like lifting the burden. <sighs> I 
I see a white pony in the clouds just sort of prancing past me. I mean, it's light as air on its own feet in the sky and these clouds. It, it inspires me to just sit down and meditate in the clouds. I mean, I'm just surrounded by white everywhere. And it doesn't matter what I'm looking at. It doesn't matter if I define this as clouds, if I define this as white. It's almost better this way. It's almost better to, to have something to see that is absolutely really nothing to see at all. And you just meditate and it doesn't matter what anything looks like because you just go beyond it, right? Beyond the problem. And now when you, when you do this, you're getting lighter. And your parents are saying that when you're human, right, you, it's like um, you're being weighed down, which is fine, that's part of it, because being human, you're in a different type of dimension. So we can't necessarily see the spirit realm with our human eyes, right? So we have to use the invisible eye to see an invisible world. And But when you sit down and relax and you meditate, you become lighter and thus closer to their energies so that you can actually feel them with you. And they show me that you are in their heart. Their heart. See, they're like they're like two Lego pieces connected. So they share the same heart. And you are in their heart. They just make me feel like... Like no matter what I have on my to-do list, that that th that these responsibilities can be set aside that what I think has to be done today if I put it off for two weeks the world isn't going to end and it's okay to just disconnect sometimes their energies and their message uh, brings this sort of blossoms it within myself which I feel too is part of the message Okay, Pam, thank you so much. This was really beautiful. Thank you for sharing. And uh, for those of you, if you're interested in exploring a psychic session with me, please visit me at my website at abbynormalswisdomquest.com. Have a great day, everybody.